With watchOS 26, it has three big new updates for Apple Watch faces that we're gonna jump into in this video. While not unique specifically to 26.2, everybody already on the public beta can take advantage of these features and not even the beta, the public release as a whole. So first things first, as you guys know, and I'm gonna use our iPhone here just to make it a little easier. We did get a couple of new watch faces in iOS 26. What a lot of people might not know, there's a fourth one that you can't see here unless you have one specific combination that we'll talk about in a second. But the first one is going to be Waypoint. Waypoint, as you can see, has a couple of preset options based off of colorways, and this is meant to give you, exactly like it says, waypoints that you can actually locate items, campsites, directions, just whatever you'd like, right from the watch face. So you can see they have a couple of pre-built ones with blue, lilac, green, orange, night version, and just kind of a basic gray with orange highlights, it looks like here. So let's go ahead and actually just add this one to the watch and let's take a look at this one first and you can see we'll just say radius is 10 this is exactly what that watch face looks like and as you can see as I move my wrist around you're getting your compass on top towards the direction you would need to go what's interesting here is you can see the little orange highlighted area if you long press and go to edit it you will be able to kind of change and add your POI filter. POI is for points of interest, and you can physically say whichever ones you might want. Compass, mapped pin places, routes, uh, suggestions for trailheads, beaches, parked cars. Um, yeah, so you can have all these set up, and as you can see, I do have them all on. And when that is actually managed and all set up, you will have those shown right on your watch face as well. You can always change the watch face style. You can see how customizable it is. You can arrange the directions of the dial style, night mode, the color, compilations, and everything as usual. We'll go ahead and lock that in place. And now we're good to go. I have none of those items saved. That's why you're not seeing them any currently on the watch, but it is still pretty neat nonetheless. And then obviously after that, we're going to have Flow as the next one. Flow I really think does look amazing. It really kind of adds a little bit of more fluidity to the watch as far as looks go. So for Flow, you can see again, a couple of different combinations here. Some are really hard to read, but if you wanted to actually jump into them, you can customize them as you need. Let's see, let's use this color pattern here. You have two different typefaces as well just depending on what's easier and more legible for you to read. We'll go with this one, number two. Uh, and then if you want a background on and off, you kind of saw what that looked like prior. We'll leave it on. We'll go ahead and say add here. And you can see the Apple Watch Ultra 3 already updated. And look at how fluid, you can see it looks like liquid is behind the watch face. One thing with this though that I will call out, in its customization, it is very, very minimal for what you can add. Clearly you can see no compilations even here or any of that. So while limited, you do have a much nicer watch face. And then the next one is gonna be Xactagraph. I think a couple of these look really good as well. I really like this one. I talked about it in my initial video on the Ultra 3, but if you haven't seen it, this looks really cool and separates the hours and minutes and seconds onto separate dials for precise timing. And as you can see, it says typing or tapping the watch face expands the minutes and second dials by five times, revealing smaller increments. So pretty neat here. I'm going to use this one just as an example. Let's, let's leave the background on. We'll use the open three look and leave the compilations as it is for now. We'll add that baby. And again, this is just how cool that thing looks. Take a look at that. And then again, when you click on it, it expands or contrasts depending on what ring you're selecting. I think that looks really cool, very neat. And then with this though, you do have a ton of different options. Let's go ahead and just put background off. Uh, we'll leave the same style, change our color a little bit. Let's do that one. And then for this right now, you have no compilations available, but you would if you change the style to hypothetically, let's just go to closed 
and then you can see you have those complications complications right here. So pretty cool nonetheless, if that's something you're looking for for your style, it's right here, ready to go, and those are going to be three of the new watch faces. And if you were just to look, you're gonna be like, oh, that's probably it, just photos and that's it. But if you actually have a Hermes band, there is a new Hermes um, watch face that features animated shorts that move or that appear based on the time of day and movements with a series of characters. So again, only available on the Hermes Apple watches, but it is still pretty cool nonetheless. And then also, if you don't like any of the new watch faces, they made some tweaks to the actually existing ones as well. So a variety of watch faces that you already know prior to iOS 26 got updates, specifically the watch face for photos, which is allegedly what Apple says is the most popular option here. They have two improvements with liquid glass time and then featured photos option. So we'll go ahead and use this one. Let's go ahead and we'll use Mackenzie. It's featured this way. As you can see, it updated here. And then if we want to edit it right on the watch, we'll use, yeah, we'll use dynamic timing, modern font, numerals are fine. Style, we'll leave that as natural. And then style color here, you can really see those liquid glass elements. It's called liquid glass or just glass, as you can see. And then compilations. And that is it. But if you wanted to make this one of the larger watch faces, let's go ahead and change the time size. It's very obvious what it looks like on a watch face like this. Going to color. So you can see what glass looks like really as opposed to vibrant and other colors. While subtle on certain imaging, it does look good. We'll leave the complications blank. And there you go. So a couple little changes there. I think this is just a nice subtle tweak. Nothing too crazy or super exciting, but it is nice nonetheless. And then also, like I was saying, matching the system wide liquid glass design with the glass color option to the watch face like we showed you. There's also a featured option as your image source to ensure you'll see many of the best photos in your library. And then one of the other options that are pretty cool, and I'm actually going to throw this on really quick. Let me move this out of the way. There is a new option also that you've probably heard about called watch face hints. And what this is, so hypothetically, let me get out of that stack. If you're using the camera right on your phone and you raise your watch face, you can see you actually get a little hint here to use your camera controls and camera remote will give you a toggle to open right away, right there. And as you can see, perfectly done. You're getting your viewfinder right from your watch and able to just start and stop whatever you need for recording or taking a photo. So those are a couple of the new main updates for watchOS 26. We're riding on 26.2 beta 2 right now. If anything else new is added, we'll be sure to add it to this video. That's it for this one. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.